ocean of fear, pain, and sorrow. Sea of the joy, happiness, and love. In which we all want to be battered. Those are emotions which control our lives. The mechanism of reaction is the same in positive and in negative ones. When we are angry, we don't feel anything, anything except of the person or thing which made us anger. So we have only this person or this thing in front of us. But when we are in love, we also are blind. We cannot see anything except of the object of love. Anthony de Mello said a very important thing to me. He said that the things which you can control, you have to be aware of first. And the things which you are not aware of can control you. So this is very, very strong thought. I'm just wondering, have you ever taken a decision under very strong emotions? You couldn't see anything. If you, if you were in stress, on very happy, and you took a wrong decision, and after some time, when all the emotions fell down, you feel that you could make something different. I have such a moment in my life. It was two years ago. It was the worst <coughs> time in my life ever. I lost almost everything. I lost my new bought flat, all savings in one week, and also a lot of my life. And I was really depressed and frustrated, and I was crying every day and blaming everyone except of me. And in these very deep negative emotions, I couldn't think and I couldn't do anything rationally. Those negative emotions went me to the bottom. Really. I was in the bottom. But then anger has appeared. And this anger, the strong emotion, could me, help me to go out with this. I was anger on the whole world. And I couldn't stand that it all happened to me, but I started to act. And there was a moment that I realized that I'm me. I'm the only person responsible for my life. And I cannot blame anyone, but anyone, except of me. This was not an easy lesson. It was really hard and tough lesson, but very useful. After that, I realized that all those negative emotions this pain, this sorrow, this anger also, is very useful. It's useful because thanks to those emotions we can appreciate 
those positive ones. We could appreciate this joy and happiness, and we could feel the difference between one state and the other. There are many different moments in our life. Some of them are really great, perfect, and we will remember them forever. And some of them are really bitter and hard, which will, we will remember them every single day. But it's important to find the balance and to learn how to watch our emotions, how to watch our negative feelings. At the end, I would like you to remember three things. First one is that you can control only the things which you are aware of. So the first step is to be aware. The second one is that you are the only person responsible for your life. No one else but you. And the third one is that the stormy life is the most difficult one, but it's also the most satisfactory and the most beautiful one. So next time when you will have the choice to go somewhere and do something or stay at home, choose the first one. Because you can have, of course, an accident but you can also find the love of your life. Thank you.